On this week's boiler tip, we're gonna talk about gaskets for McDonald Miller float controls. Both of these controls here are McDonald Miller controls, but one is a 150 or 157, it's a 150 head, and the other is a 193 head. Um, and what we'll see is that the same gasket with the same bolt pattern will fit on either one of these heads. So it would appear that this same gasket would work on either, and to some extent it will, but there is an important difference and there's something we can do to optimize these. A modern McDonald Miller 150 head has what we call a raised face. And what that does is it gives you more compression on the gasket on this inside circle. Some older McDonald Miller 150s will actually have a full face, and we'll look at that. On a full face flange, we don't have that raised surface. And the problem with that is that when we put a full face gasket on here, we might not get even compression on this inside. That gasket might actually compress here and compress here and have a loose spot where steam or water could escape. So to correct for that, when we've got a flat face flange, we need to use a reduced face gasket. We don't have to have a factory reduced face gasket. We can actually just trim this gasket down, being careful to stay as far outside um, as we can so we get a good thickness of gasket ring. Then when we put that on the full face surface, we'll get that compression limited to our sealing area here and we'll get a much more secure seal.